$810 million. Wow, I couldn't believe it when I saw the billboard driving in this morning. That's how high the Mega Millions jackpot has soared since no one won Friday night's drawing. If you beat the odds, you will win the fourth largest lotto <laughs> jackpot in history. Well, that's the thing. You'd have to beat really tall odds. Yeah. Jordan Ellenberg is a math professor and author joining us live. Maybe he can help increase our odds a bit. Good morning to you. What are the odds of winning a Mega Millions jackpot? Well, I got to be straight with you. They're pretty bad. I'll do everything <laughs> I can for you guys, but it is pretty bad. You know, you can you can look at the different factoids that try to give you some sense of it. Somebody said that you're 250 times more likely to be hit by lightning than to win the lottery. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I got I to gotta say things like that. I find them a little hard to interpret because how likely are you to get hit by lightning? I mean, I, I mean, do you like to play golf in the rain? Like I don't. Some people do, right? But those things are, uh, those things affect it. I like. Here's one thing I like to say. It's this. It's about the same as if you are flipping a coin, getting ahead 28 times in a row. Oh. I mean, that's a lot, right? Imagine if you got 14 heads in a row and you were like, oh, maybe I'll get 14 more, right? You wouldn't. That would be insane. Uh, so it's very, yeah. very low. Hmm. So like one in 300 million is what we're what we're That's looking at here. We had a couple others that were on the screen just a moment ago. I want to put them back up because you also have have some scenarios here like 30,000 times more likely to have a bathroom injury. Yeah, that depends on your practices too to be fair, you know? What I mean it's <laughs> <laughs> And, and also, you're more likely to die by shark attack, too, apparently. Right, like all kinds of things we accept. We go through life being like, that's not going to happen mm. to me. All of those things are still more likely than that you're going to win uh, the Mega Millions tonight. Although, you know, to be fair, improbable things happen all the time, oh, yeah, right? Sure. So yeah. Somebody is going to win at some Somebody has to. Point. Someone will get those numbers. Oh, wait, you crunch numbers for a living. Is there any way to improve your odds of winning the lottery? So there's a few modest things you can do. One thing is, I always tell people, don't pick your birthday, don't pick those numbers, don't pick a number you got out of a fortune cookie or something like that, because if you're picking that number, that's a number a lot of other people are gonna pick. And so the chances that you have to put, split the prize if you do win, become higher, and that's less money for you, right? Um, but you know, the main thing I'd say to people, honestly, is, you know, playing the lottery is not a financial plan, right? You're playing for the fun. That's why they call it playing the lottery. You have the fun of imagining, you know, winning and buying the Rockets, or in my case, the Bucks, or like whatever it may be. Um, so what I would say to people, honestly, is if you if it seems fun to you, play, but don't buy a hundred tickets. No. Don't spend two hundred bucks. Are you gonna are you, are you gonna have a hundred times as much fun if you buy a hundred tickets? <laughs> no, no. The amount of fun you have is basically constant. <laughs> you just get to imagine, wow, what if it was me? And you can get that just from buying one. So that's what I would say. If you uh. feel so moved. They got your two bucks and that's what you should spend. Yeah, don't be the CEO for, of Raising yes. Cane's who bought 50000 apparently for all of his uh, employees, which was incredible, yes. but still yeah, not everybody is a CEO. one for each employee, so all those guys had fun. <laughs> I think that's okay. All yeah, the they're having fun, <laughs> but yeah, don't do it unless you're the CEO of Cane's. <laughs> hey, this is a fun conversation. We've upped our risk. I'm not putting my birthday in. I've learned some stuff, mm -hmm. so <laughs> have a good one. Good luck to you. Yeah. Thank you all right.